Since he was four months old, Jaden David suffers from Dravet syndrome or myoclonic epilepsy. He had the first seizure on Christmas Day 2006 and has come to have as many as 500 a day. In less than four years, the ambulance has rushed him 40 times to the ER. It's been a calvary for his family. He's been on so many different medications and nothing helped him. He was, his best day was having 50 myclonic twitching a day. He was very lethargic. He, he couldn't function. He couldn't chew. He couldn't walk. He couldn't do anything. The doctor told me my son is never going to walk. My son's never going to talk. And this is the exact words he said. Your son's a mental retard. Love your son for who he is. Jaden has been seen by several specialists, and by the age of four, he was prescribed 22 different medications and had already taken 25,000 psychotropic drugs. During hallucinations, he could scream for six hours straight. The father was exhausted. I, I was wearing out. I was going to put a gun to my head and pull the trigger. Um, I remember one night calling my mother and calling my mom and saying, Mom, I can't do this anymore. I've, you know, I've, and I've always been strong and I've always fought for things, but I don't know if I could do this anymore because, uh, you know, I'm seeing my son dying in front of my face. And the needed help did not arrive by traditional medicine, but from medical marijuana. In June 2011, after seeing a news story on TV about the health benefits of cannabis, Jaden's father turned to a doctor at the University of San Francisco. Then, with a pediatrician's prescription in hand, he knocked on Steve D'Angelo's door, owner and founder of the Harborside Health Center in Oakland, a dispensary serving 120,000 patients. Cannabis is effective for some very grave illnesses like cancer and epilepsy and multiple sclerosis. It's also very effective for some of the modern chronic wellness issues uh, that we all have, like insomnia, indigestion, stress, anxiety, and depression. The medical marijuana Jaden uses is composed by only 5% THC, the psychoactive constituent, and 95% CBD, or cannabidiol, the second major constituent, which among others has sedative and anti-epileptic effects. Jaden went seizure free the first day of his whole entire life. Since he was four months old to four and a half, he'd never had a day without a seizure. So after that, I, um, I decided to, to wean Jaden off the medications because he went four days seizure free. But I waited about him three weeks and I started taking him off very slowly of the steropintol. After I took him off the steropintol, boom, Jaden stopped screaming and crying, going crazy. Go. For each medicine taken away, Jaden seemed to flourish and become livelier. Gradually, Jaden's parents stopped all but one of his prescription drugs. Today, Jaden takes three daily doses of 50 milligram marijuana solution. Good job. He's a typical six-year-old boy, seven-year-old boy, that where he he doesn't um, he doesn't listen all the time, but he does he does comprehend. He does understand. Uh, my favorite thing out of everything that I've got out of Jaden in the last few years is, you know, the love that I got from him. Because before, Jaden, I would say the medications made him bipolar. So he'd be laughing and crying at the same time. He'd be like, ha, 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 ha. He didn't know what to, how to act because of the medications. After all the exhausting vicissitudes, Jaden's father wants to make a request to the doctors who treated his son and other children afflicted with the same disease. Let's compare kids. Let's compare the kids on medical marijuana with Dravet syndrome. And let's compare the kids that are on medications with Dravet syndrome. And let's, let's compare. How can you deny the comparison? That's my thing. Show me your kids, I'll show you mine. Like that? 